Hey, how's it going everyone? Today I'm going to show you how I'm going to install Anderson power connectors on my toy hauler battery bank here. These are the connectors I'll be using. They're 175 amps, 600 volts. I'll be using welding cable to connect it all. The reason I'm doing this is because my converter in the trailer charges very slowly and the batteries never get charged up all the way. And I didn't want to spend the money on an inverter charger because those can run you upwards of a thousand bucks. So I'm going to go ahead and wire this in to my batteries here and then have this connector sitting here. And then I'll have my battery charger, which is right here. It's just a 40 amp Black & Decker battery charger. I'll go ahead and put an Anderson connector on this and then I can plug it into there whenever I'm running the generator and get these things charged up quickly. I'm now ready to go ahead and put a terminal end on the negative side of the cable that's going to hook up to the battery bank. We've already cut our cable to size and we've already stripped our uh, cable on this end. We're going to be using the Temco TH0005 battery crimper, cable crimper. Um, I'll put a link down below where you can get it. Go ahead and pull that. We're just going to take our terminal end and we're going to put it in here. And I like to just get this a little bit tight, a little snug, so it holds it in there. Alright, just like that. And then it's real easy, you just clamp that down. You go, you got a nice strong crimp. So, we're not going to solder this, but we are going to go ahead and throw some heat, heat shrink tubing on it. So, I'm gonna, I just got it. Fit. That's it. So that one's all done. So now we can go ahead and hook that up to our negative side right there. And the next thing we'll be doing is going ahead and uh, putting the Anderson connectors onto the battery charger. So I'll show you. All right, that so we're going to go ahead and we're going to take off our nut here on our negative terminal. got to be a little bit strategic because on your battery boxes you have certain areas where you can have the wires running in and out. If you did it over on this side, it doesn't work as easily. So. There we go. It'll be just like that. I'll go ahead and tighten this down now. go and that's it so now we'll move on to the battery charger and get those soldered in all right so we're ready to go ahead and install the Anderson connector onto the battery charger we use a pair of cable cutters to cut it this is very thin compared to what this Anderson connector is capable of so this is only 10 aug um, cable so what we're gonna have to do is fill up our fitting with solder. Go ahead and start that torch up. Let's this up. Right, go ahead. Right, We're just going to 
speed this down in there, hit it once. So you're not going to want to fill this all the way up because once you put your wire in there, hit it again. Let's it once you put your wire in there, it'll make it overflow. All right, go ahead and hit that. All right, so we're going to heat it up again, and we're as soon as it's ready, oh, hit it. Get it pretty hot. Gonna stick this all the way down in there, and you gotta let it cool for a minute. Just take a couple minutes to cool here. And then we're going to go ahead and do a mechanical crimp on it with the crimper also. All right, so our Anderson connector is uh, all cooled down now. We're going to go ahead and do a mechanical crimp on here also. So again, using the TH005 battery crimper, we had to use a different jig in there, a slightly larger one than we used over there. So now we have two different uh, ways of making sure that stays on there. Again, get a piece of our heat shrinking. This heat shrink that I'm using here is intended for bigger cable, but we're going to go ahead and use this anyways. Alright, so the next thing we're going to do is cut our positive side, strip the wire, and repeat that process. Then I'll come back and I'll show you how this connector part goes in the actual plastic uh, connector. So we'll be back in a minute. So we're about to do the positive side of the battery charger. Another thing you can do when you're working with a, a big terminal end or a big um, fitting like this, and you have small cable, you can go ahead and cut it longer and then flip it over. I didn't think of doing that until it was too late, so I want them to be even. So I'm just going to go, I barely have it. Uh, fold it over so we're going to go ahead and heat this one up again and we'll go ahead and get it completely good. Alright so we're waiting for this to dry cool down a little bit uh, for a second. The reason you want to be really careful on this when you're filling it with solder is if you put too much then it can overflow when you stick your wire in and it gets that all over the bottom of the fitting and that's the part that actually is going to go in and secure itself into the connector so it'll be more prone to sliding in and out so you if that happens you'll have to take a real small file 
get in there on the video, you can kind of see it's a little lip. It's the actual projector. That's going to go over a little piece of metal that's on the plastic connector. If you get solder in there, then that'll want to uh, pull out so you, it won't be as secure. So make sure you try to limit any spill spillage that you get on there. So we're going to let this cool for a second, then we're going to go ahead and hit it with our um, shrink tape, shrink tubing. All right, so we went ahead and finished up getting our positive cable uh, soldered, crimped, and heat shrunk. We went ahead and put our um, negative cable into the connector already, and I'm going to show you how that works. So inside of the connector is a little, small, thin piece of metal. The lip that's on this connector that you can probably not see very good, you'll definitely notice it when you have your connectors though. That lip is going to go over, it's going to push that piece of metal down on the inside of there, and that's what secures this in. So you just push that in, and you'll hear that clip. When you pull on it, it should be nice and secure. So you don't want it, if it's not in all the way, it'll just go ahead and pull out. So make sure they're all the way in there, and then we'll go ahead and take you back over to the battery box and show you how these are going to secure. Into all right, so we're over here. This is the one coming off of our battery bank. This is the charger. So the re whole reason we're doing this is so that when we pull up to camp or when the batteries get low, if we're somewhere where we don't have any sun for multiple days and our solar system isn't charging up the batteries, then we can go ahead and when we're running the generator for you know, to cook or whatever, we can just bring the battery charger out here, pull this off, I'm gonna mount it over here onto the box somehow, and then just stick it in here. The battery charger will be hooked up to one of the outlets on the side of the trailer, and we'll put it on 40 amps, and get the, these things topped off. It'll do it a lot quicker, and we won't have to run the generator forever, trying to get the batteries back up to where we want them. So that's it. Hopefully that helped. And uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. This isn't a how-to video. This is just a how I did it. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, let me know. Talk to you later.